Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. I'm going to be continuing where I last left off, but before we get into the episode, I do want to thank everyone for their support on the last episode, which was really, really good to see. Um, and a uh, lot of interaction there, so hopefully we'll be able to keep that up and be able to keep making more and more videos. So, where were we? While we were building our battleships, we were getting quite tensioned with uh, the Royal Navy, Germany and uh, Russia. And we were trying to get out another light cruiser. Uh, someone commented on the episode that we should have uh, taken the 6-inch guns uh, purchase, I believe, from France. Um, I decided not to because we didn't have funds at the time. But he does make a good point that if you buy that, that then takes that gun out of the pool for your research. So there's definitely a benefit there. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just increment a long time because really I want to get into a war. That's why I want to do this episode uh, because a war will get us more budget. More budget allows us to build a bigger navy um, and really establish ourselves. There's also a lot of possessions here we can pretty easily take. Uh, Russia only has a destroyer uh, in Northeast Asia, so I'm pretty confident about any war. Here we go. One of our minor allies on the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor. Um... We can do that for budget. We'll go ahead and do that for budget. We've got some submarine technology. Quite a lot of tension here. We've got to be a bit careful. I think I'm going to take our tension down until we get our other battleships. Um, because we're building them in France. And if France, uh, if France gets too high tension, they're going to cancel that. So that would become a problem. Uh, a sump in the economy um, has caused widespread unemployment and poverty. Unrest is three. I'm not sure what scale that is on, but I'm going to... I'll take a momentary hit to get social reforms. Conservatives don't want that. So that's going to cause some uh, some issues, but uh, we'll have to do what we want. Uh, the Prime Minister wants to reduce the finance for the Navy to build a new palace and a luxurious yacht for the head of state. The head of state here being the Emperor, I presume. Um... The Navy will be happy to man the new yacht. Yeah, let's not do that, please. We are not building a yacht. <laughs> uh, and yeah, tension's getting pretty damn high here. We are going to go into the finance, uh, in, into the red here a little bit. Um, I may need to... Can I put this into Mothball? Yes, I can, but it's not too much of a difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to have to hopefully get another budget increase. Uh, we got some more technology sharing, which is actually working out really well. Having that with Great Britain is fantastic because we're getting a lot of uh, use out of it. I really don't want to slow down our battleship production any more than, uh, than, than we can here. Um, but I don't really see a way out. So we're going to halt momentarily for that. And we're going to get back into the green and then we're going to resume it immediately. There we go. We might be going to war with Germany first, and uh, we got the Pittsburgh class uh, armored cruiser. Uh, pretty small, more like a, la a heavy light cruiser. It's got not a great lot of deck armor. Uh, only has four seven-inch guns, fourteen six-inch guns, and then ten three-inch. So it's decent at destroying um, uh, destroyers, but against uh, a bigger armored cruiser, it's going to get pretty, pretty, pretty wrecked there. Uh, new increment, we found the German battleship, the Mecklenburg. Again, four 9-inch guns. I think we already got this guy, so nothing to be concerned about. Uh, we do now know that the they're building a new ship, the Weisenberg, and that has an armor of 10 and a half inches, which is similar to what we're building in our own yards. Uh, let's increment along. Again, getting that sharing with Great Britain is really useful because if we have a look over in the... Um, Almanac. Great Britain has very advanced technology. They're a technology leader and we are a backwards technology. Um, so if we can get sharing there, it's really good. We can also see what they're building. They're going to get up to 20 battleships. Uh, I, oh yes, also I don't want to forget, but we got a suggestion. Uh, not a suggestion, a, someone wanted a name and that was Zeref. So we're going to go for the Iki is going to be renamed to the Zeref. Um, and that'll be built in 18 months, hopefully in time for a war. Um, wars don't usually last more than a year. They can last multiple, but it's unusual. The reports that they went 6-inch range finder. Um, unspecified problems with delayed Russia increasing their naval budget, which is not great. 
Looks like we are probably going to be going to war with Germany, and our technology agreement just ran out. Uh, okay, upheaval. Germany is apparently sending a force there. We should issue an ultimatum. I think we're going to go to war. They've occupied Morocco, and we've got a setback, and war has broken out. There we go. Japan and Germany, war broken out, and we've got a surprise attack. Mobilize all ships. So, basically, this will mobilize all ships, and we're doing an attack at night here. So, let me kind of explain what's going on. So, we have an order of battle. We have our main force, obviously. Then we have a uh, battle division that has battleships in it. We have two destroyer divisions. We have a heavy uh, cruiser division. And then we have a destroyer division. We also have coastal forces, but they're all the way over here. And we don't need to worry about The triangle indicates that the... Uh, is AI controlled and the square flag indicates that it is player controlled and we can change the speed down here as well as obviously course we can also do squad max and then we can change the time up here as well in this case I generally speaking want to take direct control where I can but we have identified the ship right about so I'm gonna let them go we are at night we thankfully do have night training so what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get in port because they're currently, um, ships of this era take a while to get out of port because they need to reach a certain, I believe it's temperature to start generating steam, um, because they've got, you know, coal burners. Uh, so they're currently being surprised and as such, we have a limited window, but a window where they won't be able to properly react to us. They'll be stationary, which makes torpedo boats very, very, very effective. So... We're going to get our heavy cruiser to squad max, which means basically go as fast as it possibly can. We're then going to do the same for the battleships. We're going to get the battleships to move in, but it's all going to be about these destroyers. So I'm just going to let this go for now. You press space bar to do an, an increment here. Okay. We sign unknown ship. I'm going to take you off AI controlled. I'm going to put you into supporting the uh, Hayati. Yeah, the Hayati. And then I'm going to have you work as a core, if I could. Core. I'm going to have you come up, come, come astern here, and we'll show firing torpedoes. Warning. Has more than one core division following, so it's just a support. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is a trawler. So this is commercial. Um, I think the sounds are a little loud, so I'm going to turn them down. Let me know if they are or not, but I'm going to turn the sounds a little bit down. Let's go for 10%. There we go. So we're going to leave that because we got our main target. That's the main thing. We can click run and this will just run it continuously until we detect target. That is probably a, um, what you call it, a coastal battery. We're going to try and avoid that where we can. Yeah, four inch coastal batteries. They'll rip our destroyers apart if we get too close. Probably another battery there as well. We got our battleships coming in we're going to move them over we have detected enemy ships now we think they have a battleship here if we can sink that battleship that'll be an amazing start to the war because they have to move them all the way from europe i'm going to see if we can do that uh you need to actually come over here though because we don't have that many torpedoes which of the class are these are these the minikaze yes fantastic so that is a battleship. That's a battleship. That's very important. So we're going to AI control this. We're going to get them moving over. Um, I'm going to put these down to 20 knots. We're going to do a turn. I'm going to see if I can fire a torpedo. So you right click on here. You click fire. Uh, and I'm going to have the Jose Kaze fire. So this means high chance. This is the course. I'm going to fire a torpedo into that destroyer. And that should pretty much spell the end for that. Uh, what we're going to do with these guys though is we're going to move them over. Yeah. Hit with a torpedo. We want our battleships to get up here, though, because this zone is, um, I think it's mines, but basically we can't move in it. Uh, so we have to get yeah, our battleship starting to move. That's a Schwab in the class. We need to hit that battleship. It's you can see it's just starting to get into, into action. Um, and it's firing back here. We can see the log. Uh, no, the coastal batteries are firing others, but also it's starting to fire. Can we fire a torpedo at the Schwaben? 
No solution, no solution. Okay, are you in a range? I'm not sure what our current range is on the uh, these destroyers. We may need to pull out. Yeah, it's sitting in the torpedo netting. So I'm going to pull the destroyers out for now. We've got our cruiser, but it's not going to be able to stand up too much to the Schwaben. We can right-click to see what it's like. Four 11-inch guns. German's very famous for their 11-inch guns. We're going to get our battleships in here. It's unfortunate we couldn't get a, a hit off. Um, and you can see the splashes come down from the coastal batteries, from the other guns. Okay, if it moves over here, we're going to try and hit that. So we're going to move 20 knots. Yeah, looks like that's what it's doing. So we're going to try and get a hit in here. Because if we can get like one torpedo, one torpedo here is all you need really. Okay, Akikaze. Oh, we don't have a, a solution here. Okay, move. Cannot keep up with the vision. So that is because I think, yeah, the Kamikaze got hit hard. Yeah, we're taking some big hits over here. We can't let this guy escape. It's really important we don't let this guy escape because this is the entire point that we're here. So, okay, it's turning in. Oh, okay, you're sinking. No solution, no solution. Yeah, it just got full broadsided there. Battleships are coming up, though. Let's get that squad max on. Let's get everything moved up. Battleships also coming in. Now, the heavy cruiser does have torpedoes. So, we're going to just normal, normal this. Uh, do we have unknown target sites? That is a Corvette. Nothing to be worried about. We've sunk two ships. So that sank. And we're trying to search for this. Okay, there it is. There it is. Keep them there. You come in for a hit. You come in for a hit. You come back. Okay, we've got two vessels sighted. That's a heavy cruiser. It might be the same battleship. We don't know exactly what it is until we get right there. Can you fire torpedoes? No, we can't. You can now, I think. Fire? Keep in mind it's night time, so they may not be able to see us, and, and we're still having some issues ourselves. Fire a torpedo. You can see the little torpedo go off. And we're going to, again, we're still trying to chase that battleship. That battleship is the most important target here. We hit with torpedo. We fired another torpedo off. Uh, can we fire again? Yes, we can. And then we're going to get out of there. We did lose a destroyer, which is not great. We also got into here. Um, that's a patrol boat. So that may have been the battleship. It may have actually just been a heavy cruiser. We don't... I don't know exactly. Either way... Ooh, the Asakaze sinking. So yeah, we're losing some destroyers here because we're a little bit gunko with our tactics. Um, but... You, you, it's worth killing a, a heavy cruiser, like a 13,000 or 9,000, whatever, to heavy cruiser. But I'm pretty sure there was that battleship. I'm not sure where it's gone to, but we need to find it if possible. Fuji, where have you sighted an unknown ship? Oh, uh, that's on land, yeah. That would, be, that would be expected. By the way, down here is the time elapsed. We get limited time to do these. We're firing at the coastal batteries. Let's get these destroyers down here, please. You can continue searching. We're going to see, because this heavy cruiser was turning back, and I want to make sure that we actually get a kill here. Unidentified ship. We hit it, hit it. We should, uh, yeah. That's just got completely sunk, because three battleships just walk in. Uh, it might have gotten stuck. Also, we're turning fire against that. Oh, there's the heavy cruiser. Okay, should we be able to get another one in? Oh, they're not. They're line abreast, which means they're... Yeah, line ahead, please. Line ahead. Squad max. Squad max. Oh, this is risky. Fire. We got it. We lost a destroyer, but we did get it. Uh, move back. That should be sunk now. It should slowly sink anyway. And then we'll just hit these 4-inch batteries. So we're just, we're just firing now. 
We sighted an unknown ship. Looks like it's won a ground. Yeah, we'll just hit it on the, on the way out. Don't want it to get back in port. We're hitting it. Turret jams. We sighted an unknown ship. Where was that? Oh, no, never mind. We lost a lot more destroyers than I would have wanted there. But we're sh completely hitting that cruiser. Um, and we're just going to continue to do so. It's now daytime, as you can see. Move back. Yeah, that's a 6-inch naval battery, so we've got to be a little bit more careful about that one. But we have 12-inch uh, guns. Oh, so that is the battleship. Yeah, we just didn't have correct identification. We'll hit, we hit it a bunch of times. That thing's going down. There is no way that's surviving. Let's have a look. Yeah, 14,000 ton vessel. So we did lose quite a few destroyers, but that's definitely worth it. And that's got heavy damage. So yeah, we're going to get out of here now. And the way you just get out of here is you just let the game run and you retreat. And then we just put this on. Yeah, no problem. That should sink now. You would expect it to. It took multiple torpedoes and it got hit multiple times. Um, unidentified ship. Interesting. I think it's probably a trawler. Yeah, it is. Well, if we can kill it while we're here, then uh, then why not? There we go. No ships. There we go. And we get victory. So this will show us the log. So we lost three destroyers. We took some medium damage. Uh, battleships took light damage, but we sunk a battleship. We destroyed the destroyer. We got two corvettes. Uh, and then an auxiliary vessel. Um, we got 37,000 points. We're playing in Captain's Boat, which allows us to manually fire torpedoes and a few other things. So there you go. Uh, so we got 37,000 victory points. And we need these victory points to be able to... These will translate to victory points uh, for the war. And we need them to actually be able to win it. We can even see the ship details here. What each ship did. Damage-wise, their hit percentage. Uh, very low hit percentage at this uh, error. Um, how many heavy hits, how many, you know, how many whatever hits. And then we just leave scenario through here. There we go. Japan, major victory, gained one prestige, 2,500 victory points. And we can call that the Battle of the uh, Kaushu Bay. And if we have a look at the Lug Almanac, we destroyed one of the battleships, which is obviously very, very important. We can have a look now at what is in Northeast Asia. Not a lot in terms of what they have, uh, but they, and they don't really have much elsewhere. We are going to have to have some vessels in Southeast Asia, but what we're going to do now is mobilize all vessels. Um, mobilize all vessels into active service. We're currently repairing the Asahi, um, so hopefully we can get that on the way. But we're just going to... Ha we're going to probably have to halt construction on our battleship here so we don't go into the red. And we also, because trade protection said, and eventually some marine warfare is here, we need to uh, assign some vessels to trade protection. So I'm going to assign one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll go for that. Trade protection, please. We're going to build some core. We need to build some corvettes, realistically speaking. This gives us submarine warfare submarine. I'm raiding. Germany increased naval budget, as expected. Um, but we are going to build some corvettes. Now, corvettes are very useful because they're super cheap and they're basically just gunboat little gunboats so 600 tons i'm not even going to bother designing this the entire point is just for trade protection so that'll be done in a month uh and there we go we got a new action so this will be cruiser action we have one light cruiser and four destroyers and we're just going to let the game run because we're trying to encounter the enemy here okay we have found the enemy it's currently daytime Let's go to Squadron Max and let us uh, run the game. So that is a Gelfian or Gifian class. 21 knots, 6 6 inch guns, 1.5 inch deck armor. We compare that with the Naniwa. The Naniwa has 10 4 inch guns. So definitely um, a little bit outgunned here. But we have our destroyers available to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the destroyers to go ahead, to line ahead. Squadron Max and go and go ahead of the pack. And then we're just gonna run run it as as needed. We need to gain where we can. 
because really we need to close distance because our guns are so short range and um, I like one torpedo will we'll finish this. There we go. On the way. We can go to fast speed here. Our destroyers should be able to catch and we're going to try and cut them off here. Yeah, he's going that way now. Oh, they misunderstood. Yeah, sometimes they misunderstand the uh, signals and that can cause some problems. Okay, we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. My strategy is basically based down to hit them with torpedoes. How is he moving so damn fast? We're going 27 knots there. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer now. Like, he, he only has a speed of 21 knots. Unless this is a destroyer. And they're, like, misreporting it to us. Okay, that's a lot closer than I wanted to get. But let's have a look. So, yeah, Kazi. Okay. Turn. Turn together, please. Okay, turn back. Do not do not turn together. Okay, Naniwa, come in. Okay, turn. Did we fire a torpedo? No, we didn't. Uh, Shimakaze, Shimakaze, fire, 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 no. And there is ramming in this game, by the way. Okay, can we get any torpedoes off? Low chance? Yeah, that's not going to hit anything. Okay, turn together, please. Turn. We are hitting it. But these are pretty small guns, so nothing too... Uh... Come on. It's a little bit of a goose chase right now. Come on. We got 19 knots because we got hit pretty hard there. Yeah, I think we're going to just abandon this chase. Uh, we did what we could. We nearly were able to do it. And now we're just going to let the time run out. And that will um, that will sort it. We also got some sea state limit. Sometimes the seas are not great for fighting. We still won anyway. Very minor victory. Nothing to worry about. Um, there was a heavy cruiser, the Victoria Luis. But we are going to build six corvettes. Because we're going to need them. And uh, yeah. If we have a look at. Germany has a heavy cruiser in Southeast Asia. And Germany has a heavy cruiser here. So I, what we're going to do. Is I'm going to move. Move our heavy cruiser to Southeast Asia. Um, to go and deal with that situation. If we can. Um, and we're getting everyone back up to speed. In terms of training. Enemy coastal raid. So the enemy is Germany location japan so they're attempting to raid us let's see what we have available we have two destroyers yeah th this is probably not going to be anything um we'll see if we find anything though we'll take a little bit of time to to go on and and this is what happens a lot when uh there's not that many ships actually in the combat theater okay we actually did find something interesting uh that is a pretty big vessel Okay, let's turn together. If we can get on either side and just hit it. Can we fire? Can we fire? Can we fire? No, we can't. Okay, the Shirkaze is sinking. Okay, this is not worth, this is not worth. But yeah, those guys are pretty brutal. Damn, I shouldn't have uh, gone for it. So those twos are lost. So this is going to be a German victory here. Um, and again, we'll speed up. But we've uh, we've lost both those vessels. Nothing much we can do. You can see you can see in the, the game a uh, structure and flotation. It's all gone. It's flooding. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a sink vessel. 
They're supposed to do a coastal raid, though. Their objective is to, like, blow up one of the installations here. I'm not sure where that installation is. It's somewhere. <sighs> no idea. We do have some coastal batteries, uh, but they're unlikely to do anything super impactful. And, yeah. He's coming back to finish the job here. It's gone. Shouldn't take long to sink. There we go. And now I just uh, go through and uh, let the game end. Not the game end, the scenario end, that is. <laughs> yeah, we're losing destroyers that are fighting away. We're going to need to replace them, probably with larger destroyers. And also, I probably need to be a little bit less gun co on the tactics. But hey, you know, what can you do? Yeah, they scored a decent victory there for themselves. They got a thousand. And they're sinking some merchant shipping, but it's not that big of a deal. We are still ahead, though. Um, enemy coastal raid. Estim our forces in the area. Yeah, they don't have two battleships in the area. There's no way. Uh, so the Naniwa, as well as four vessels. Now these are the Minikazes. These are Minikazes. So they got the extra torpedoes, which is uh, more speaking what I want to see. So this is the installation that we need to defend. So I'm pretty okay with just... Yeah, we'll just wait. We're also better with night combat, which gives us extra accuracy and, uh, and it's, you know, better for us overall. Okay, one of our trawlers got hit. That's concerning. They're on a course that way. Two heavy cruiser. Two light, four light cruiser. Course detected. They're over at the installation there. Unidentified ship. Okay. Here we go. So you stop. Let's go 20 knots. And let's turn. Okay, increase speed. Turn around. Okay, can we get some torpedoes into that back cruiser, please? Uh, the Takikaze? No, we can't. We need to space ourselves out a little bit. Okay, fire. No, that's low. Yeah, low. Yakaze. Yeah, torpedoes are not the best at this this level. Um, yeah, we need to we need to level out a little bit. Yakaze. Takikaze. Can we... Shimakaze sinking. We need that light cruiser moved up here, please. We need to hit that other one with a uh, round. That's a destroyer. That will explain why. Because they're going so fast that our torpedoes can't catch them. Um... So I'm going to try and increase the range again. I'm going to try and move the light cruiser over. We want to get around if we can here, possibly. Like cruiser move. Took another big hit there. We're hitting their destroyer. Yeah, I like cruiser down there. We're gonna run it into a bit of a ground problem, which we should be able to then be able to get well, should be able to get torpedo off if we if, if possible. Uh no. Turn. Okay, that's pretty damn close. Uh, Takikaze, you're going to die for the cause. <laughs> Fire. And then turn. It was hit. It was hit. That's, gonna, that's good enough for me. Slow down. If we go slower, it'll help. But we're going to probably get back to port if we can. Uh, have the light cruiser come in. But yeah, a, a torpedo hitting a light cruiser like that is... is it's pretty bad for the light cruiser. Like, really bad. And because it's slower, we can hit it with a torpedo a lot easier. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yeah, that's not really uh, an accurate torpedo. Let's fire one. Turn. Turn. 
fire two. Fire, and then let's get the hell out of there. Okay. Uh, can we have you guys enter port? Uh, I'm not sure where you do that exactly. Would like you to do, though. The last ship. There we go. We hit it. It's over. So we won the battle. We lost the destroyer, but we sunk a destroyer and the light cruiser. So that was definitely a good battle for us. Uh, the German Raider, the Louisiana has been interned. That's fantastic. They will not be able to use that anymore. Um, so that'll be less sinking for us. And overall, the war is going pretty well. So once this reaches a good amount, they're going to start getting events that will be like, we should sue for peace, we should sue for peace. Um, and that's really where we're trying to end up to. Germany now declines the battle because they don't have enough forces. And they've sounded for a negotiated peace. Uh, yeah, let's do this. There was no peace? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? Well, what can you do? Um, mothball. And move that cruiser back, please. Uh, yeah, move ship. Move that back to Northeast Asia. Uh, yeah, our budget is dead. Oh my god, we just got screwed. We have to stop, like... We have to hold all battleship production. I'm going to cancel. Um, will that be enough? Six. Might be. But we need the Corvettes anyway. I'm going to have to. I'm just going to scrap that. And I'm just going to. We're going to resume on the light cruiser for now. That is not great, is it? Uh, light cruiser Diana. We got some power armors. Wow, that was not good. That was not a good uh, end for that. Medium wing turrets. They crush rebels in Morocco. <sighs> the Germans got away with all that. That's really annoying. We were doing so well as well. <sighs> because the tension's all down. We're going to have to wait. Uh, explosive shells. Um, at least our industrial production is soaring. That's good. Nine inch guns. Better nine inch guns. Okay, um, once that light cruiser's done, we can then restart battleships, but yeah, we're just such in a, in a bad situation. Central firing, yes, thank you. That's a big, big important improvement, that. Um, heavy cruiser, two 9-inch guns, yep. We're getting to the point where dreadnoughts will start to look like, you know, I think we're in 1904. Uh, we got a light cruiser. Oh, did we get medium wing to it? That's fantastic news. Uh, resume construction on that. And then we'll zoom down. And I want to start rebuilding our battleships to use central firing, if at all possible. All right. Next turn. Uh, active mine warfare. That's fine by me. Uh, yeah, we need to get this into mothball. Don't into mothball into... Yeah, you need to get into mothball. There we go. Um, should help a little bit. And then we can also put these into a mothballed situation. Political murder in the Balkans. What? That would never happen. Demand that the guilty be brought to justice, please. I'll help get our budget back. But yeah, the budget budgets went down across the board for everyone. Britain used to be at 300,000. Um, so yeah, definitely budgets are looking bad. So we are going to look at rebuilding these. Uh, specifically, rebuilding them for central firing, which is basically just a better fire control system. Um, and I want to, yeah, I want to go for refill. That's going to cost us four. That's going to cost us a monthly cost of that. Let's do it. Um, that is worthwhile in terms of getting our battleships to be a little bit more effective. Oil discovered in Finland. Wow. Uh, Yayama, we've got better torpedoes. Those are going to be very, very useful. We're going to need to look at designing a new destroyer soon. Newer ships, we only get big tension. Big tension, big money. Big tension, big money. That's what I say. Uh, oh, yes. Also, we have our light cruiser, which I'm going to put into foreign station. Uh, and then that means that I can take off you. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to move all of you to Northeast Asia. There you go. 
I mean, you don't have to worry about that. And the Fuji, all those. Okay. The most likely enemy in the future war. Let's go for Russia. I think, yeah. Russia has four. Four heavy cruisers. I'm more confident fighting Russia. Let's go for Russia. That'll get tension up, but, you know. Again, kind of a, a moot point at this point. Okay, mothballed, you're on foreign station, that works for me. Um, and then we're going to have that rebuild sorted. Then we can look at uh, continuing some of the vessels. During a coronation view, there was a collision between one of our ships and France. Uh, let's just increase tension. Might not want to increase tension from France that much, though, because we are still building in their yards. We want to get that done, though. Uh, the naval secretary will leave destroyers. Actually, yes, I will do that. Usually don't do something like that, but we do need to build some more destroyers. And honestly, I think the Minakazes are fine for this hour. So they want seven destroyers. Let's give them seven destroyers. So we'll order seven up. They are cramped conditions, but what can you do? Uh, one of our agents. Make him a national hero. There we go. Hopefully we can get into a, a war the next episode against Russia. Um... Yes, we want better fire control on that battleship. The USA is upset. We got better seven-inch guns. And I would love to be looking at designing a new battleship, but our budget is just—it just got absolutely destroyed. Uh, make him a national hero. There we go. Um, and we should have our battleship. One of our ship, the Corvette uh, Darwin Maru, has blown up under mysterious circumstances in Hakodate. There are suspicions that the saboteurs are from France. Wait for an impartial investigation. Yeah, I want to still want to actually get that battleship built. There's a Sagami. Sells 13 inch guns for quality one. We just can't afford that, um, unfortunately. We're going to resume construction on that. We want to get that built as soon as we can, but we did just get the uh, Sagami actually built. So that's good. You're receiving much praise. Fantastic. That gives an increase in prestige. And we're going to be going into red funds here. So let's hold that again. 50,000 has been collected by popular subscriptions. It's a new battleship. If you're not built a battleship, you may become focused. That is fine by me. So they want two battleships building. Well, we can immediately resume construction on you. This is fantastic, actually. And then we can look at designing a new ship. So... Um, before we do that, I'm going to start building dockyards because, again, that's a big problem if we can't build ships domestically. Let's go for an 18,000 ton vessel. Let's use Germany, which is interesting because we're at war with them. Um, yeah. Nine inch guns, 11 inch guns. I would, I would love to use another nation, but Italy actually has pretty... They have 12 inch guns. They have central firing. No, they don't. What does Germany have? Does Germany have central firing? So we'll use Germany. Let's go for 18,000 tons. Um, and can we go 7 inch on those secondaries? We can. It's just we'll get a weight of fire penalty. Um, yeah, 7 inch guns or 6 inch. We'll go for 7 inch guns. We'll go 10. And then we'll go for 5-inch guns on the secondaries. Go for four, like we can go for 24 secondary guns. We'll go for a belt armor of 12-inch. We want to have 12-inch guns minimum. Uh, cramped accommodation, that, yeah, that's not acceptable. Cramped accommodation basically means you have issues over, overseas, and uh, we don't really want to have that. Let's go for 12-inch conning, 12-inch turret armor. Um... 100 rounds of ammunition works. Um, central firing. Torpedoes, port, a lot of torpedoes here. 19 knots, 20 knots, 21 knots. 21 knots is pretty nice. Um, yeah, this works pretty well, I think, for us. I don't think, we can't add another, no, we can't add any extra turrets on. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to increase the number of we can go for a few more on the tertiary guns. 24 tertiaries. 
we go for 12 inch? No, we can't have. We only have 34 maximum. So can we go for a bit bigger deck armor? A little bit bigger. Let's go for, let's reduce the belt on the extended belt. And let's go for a deck armor of 2.5 inch. And how much is that going to cost us? 2,200. Yeah, this is a pretty good battleship considering cost. That'll take three months um, for building. And hopefully that should be fine. I'm going to order up a battleship to be produced. Um, yeah, I'm going to order up a battleship to be produced, which is going to be of the Iki class. Just to ensure that we, we meet that requirement. Um, we, I also want to get some more light cruisers built if possible. Uh, so I'm going to order up two light cruisers to be built. Let's go into next turn. Okay, Connecticut class battleship. Um, let me, oh yes, also all our, all these guys are in active service. These need to be reserved. There we go. That saves a lot of money. And building design study. Um, light cruisers on the way, of course. Again, I'm hoping that design study will be will be good. Um, all the tension is getting so high there. We might want to cancel the other one. Who do you see is most risky for war? Russia. That's who I see. Okay, we can build. I'm going to order initially one. Go for one. I'm going to uh, cancel this. We spent a lot of money on it, but it's it was for a good cause. I'm going to halt this so that we can ensure we can get these two out. I mean, we'll have those destroyers finish up, which is what we need. Um, what is the justice speech? The video is threatened by the imperialistic ambitions of Russia. War between Japan and Russia. And I think that's where I'm going to leave the episode off. <laughs> there we go. War against Russia after a quick German war that ended in an unfortunate situation. Um, we're now going to be going to war with Russia, hopefully for some Sakhalin for, for other areas. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and, uh, goodbye. Next up will be uh, War with Russia. And special thanks to members in Passive 9001, Scott Mundy, Tiki832, Ryan Smelly, It's Honey, Zaven, Death Himself, Cliff S, Alex Roberts, Fishick, Gravmania, Louis Neto, King Strozer, 